to my channel MLT World. Today in this video our topic is liver function tests. Liver function tests are the group of blood tests because we are doing more than one test in this panel and that liver function test also called as liver panel also. Liver function tests are blood tests used to help diagnose and monitor liver disease or damage and the test measures the level of certain enzymes and proteins in our blood. And these tests measures how well the liver is performing its normal pro function of producing protein and clearing bilirubin and blood waste products. And other liver function tests measure enzymes that liver cell release in response to damage or disease. Liver function test includes total bilirubin, direct bilirubin, ALP alkaline phosphatase SGPT that is also called as ALT SGOT that is also called as AST total protein albumin and globulin and we will discuss each one by one but before starting we will see that liver function test why need liver function test can be used to screen for liver infections such as hepatitis monitor the progression of a disease such as viral or alcoholic hepatitis and determine how well a treatment is working measure the severity of disease particularly scarring of the liver that is cirrhosis and monitor possible side effects of medication now we will discuss about the total bilirubin first of this panel that is bilirubin Bilirubin is a substance produced during the normal breakdown of red blood cells and it is yellow color substance. As you know red blood cells have a normal 120 days period and after that they will lyse and they will release the bilirubin. Bilirubin will pass through the liver and excrete in the stool. Elevated levels of bilirubin that is called as jaundice might indicate liver damage or disease or certain type of anemia. So when too much bilirubin will be released or get into the bloodstream, it is called as jaundice, a condition that cause uh, skin and eyes to be turned into yellow color. Normal bilirubin level is in milligram 0 0.1 to 1.2 milligram per dl and in millimole 1.71 to 20.5 millimole. Next is direct bilirubin that is also called as conjugated bilirubin as that there is two types of bilirubin direct and indirect. When RBCs will break down and it will release bilirubin then this bilirubin enters into the liver and it will conjugate with the glucuronic acid and it is called as direct bilirubin and then it will excrete through small intestine and uh, if there is any liver damage more direct bilirubin will be released and it will indicate the hepatic stage of infection normal range of uh, direct bilirubin is less than 0 0.3 milligram per dl or 5.1 millimole per l how we will calculate indirect bilirubin total bilirubin minus direct bilirubin next is alp alkaline phosphatase ALP is an enzyme found in liver, bones and is more important for the breaking down proteins. Higher than normal level of ALP may indicate liver damage such as block, bile duct or certain bone disease. ALP is less specific for liver because it is more produced by bones, intestine and kidney. So this test can be used for the screening and diagnosis and monitoring of the liver or bone disease and other health conditions such as like gallstones and normal range of ALP is 44 to 147 IU per ml but it depends on every lab so check according to your lab. Next is ALT and SGPT. ALT stands for alanine transaminase and SGPT stands for serum glutamate pyruvate trans transaminase. This enzyme is produced by the liver and it is more important because most of this enzyme is produced by the liver and it is more specific uh, to check the liver damage. If uh, when liver cells are damaged, they will release this enzyme into the blood. 
so if any liver damage first of all we will check alt to monitor because as it is more produced by the liver only so it is more specific marker for um, liver inflammation and is uh, and typically elevated in in individuals with a fatty liver normal range of alt is 4 to 36 u per uh, u per liter Next is AST, aspartate, transaminase. Second name of AST is SGOT, serum glutamic oxaloacetic transaminase. SGOT is not only produced by the liver, but it is also produced by the um, uh, muscles and heart cells, skeletal muscles. So SGOT is released into the blood when there will be liver damage or heart damage so ast levels are high in chronic hepatitis damage from uh, from alcohol cholestasis and heart and kidney bone muscle damage liver cancers and liver scarring known as liver cirrhosis normal range of sgot is 4 to 38 u per l so as ast is re released by the are present in liver and heart cells also so alt is more specific than ast next is total protein and total protein is a test that measures the amount of protein in the blood proteins are synthesized by the liver also so proteins are as you be know proteins are important for the health and growth of body cells and tissues so total protein test can normal detect normal and abnormal protein levels which can help to diagnose the medical conditions such as kidney and liver diseases if any liver disease total protein level will decrease normal range is 6.0 to 8.3 gram per deciliter next is albumin albumin is the major protein the type of protein that is present in the blood and albumin test can check liver and kidney functions that they are doing perform well or not albumin is a protein that is produced by the liver and it is present in the blood serum or plasma and low levels of uh, albumin in might be the result of kidney disease liver disease inflammation or infections and high albumin levels are the result of dehydration or severe diarrhea. Normal level of uh, albumin is 3.4 to 5.4 gram per dl. And how we will calculate the globulin? Globulin we will calculate, we have total protein, we will minus the albumin, we will perform total protein and albumin test. So total protein minus albumin and we will get the globulin value. So th this is the video that is completed here. I hope that you got a quick review about liver function test and their normal ranges. So I will meet you in new video. If you like this video, do share with others also and do press the like button to appreciate also. Thank you so much.